Okay, so for the first and foremost, you're gonna need chirp. Be sure you go to track.chirp.danplanet.com slash whatever. So this website here, it'll be chirp.danplanet.com and then get to the download section, click on whatever option you need. And then once you've downloaded the version, pick the recommended, install it. That's a whole nother video. Now, once you have Chirp, you can go to this website. I'll have these linked in the description, but that will give you this page. Now, what this tells you is the FRS channels and the GMRS channels. So you can see the GMRS channels are limited to five watts from one through seven and half a watt from eight through 14, but then 15 through 22 allows 50 watts. And if you get into private tones, PL tones, private channels, whatever, that's probably why you're here anyway for airsoft programming. We'll get to that in a second, but you'll have your frequencies or the actual tone number, say like on the Midland walkie talkies or Cobras, etc. You'll pick your channel, say 15 over here on the left, and that corresponds to this frequency in a Baofeng. And then any of these tones can be selected. So in a cheap walkie talkie, you'll have the big number 15, and then a, you can select a little number next to it, say like one through. Uh, 38 as you see here and what that corresponds to in the Baofeng is a frequency So the frequency tone is the part that is confusing for most people and that's why we do it through chirp because these frequencies will not stick uh, after a reboot So as you can see here, I've set up the Baofeng and chirp the way to do that is connect your USB to the Baofeng come up here to the top hit radio download from radio once you've downloaded it from radio, there'll be this, there'll probably be uh, no channels filled out, it'll all be empty, blank, 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 because that's how they come from the factory. If it's not, you can go into the settings on the Baofeng itself and reset the factory settings, and then download from radio again. Then you should have an empty sheet here. Go ahead and click on radio, import from stock config and then us frs and gmrs channels when you hit that it's going to bring up a whole list and then you can select all the channels you want i deselect the repeaters because i don't use them and then i usually deselect the frs channels and the gmrs channels up to 15. i only want 15 through 22 the reason being is I can set up 15 through 22, and while that's only seven channels, we can again go through and set up these PL tones so we have a private channel. So I could have a 15-15, a 15-18, a 15-22, a 15, whatever. And there's so many possibilities of channels to just use 15 through 22 and then add on a PL tone and you can save those. Now, how do you do that? Here's the tricky part. You have to select all the channels that you want to have the same PL tone. If you only want this channel to have PL tone 10, which is 94.8, say for uh, airsoft reasons, uh, I can show you by pulling up here, open, we have uh, GMRS and Airsoft. So over here, you'll see like I've programmed TAN Platoon 1 Squad 1, and that corresponds to 4625625, which is channel 18 on GMRS, and then with a side frequency, a PL tone, of 67 hertz so if you look over here at 67 hertz that would be a pl tone one so if you were trying to play on tan platoon one squad one and you wanted your frequency on your little cheap midland walkie talkie to work you would go to channel 18 for your big number and channel one for the little side number and that would put you on the tan platoon one squad one frequency and you can see here i've got all of those set up Tan, Platoon 1, Squad 1, Squad 2, Squad 3. Then you go to Tan, Platoon 2, 
uh, green platoon one, etc. And it goes through all of the different channels and I've already programmed them with the PL tone. Mm -hmm. Now here's how you do that. If you see here, you can select any of these channels and right click properties. And then in the properties, you're gonna have this guy, tone mode, TSQL, that's tone squelch mode. And let's say we want this to have a tone squelch mode 13. So 13 corresponds to 103.5. We're gonna scroll to 103.5. I believe we set both of these to that. And then we hit okay. Now you'll see that this is set to TSQL just like the others. So GMRS 19, 462650, with a tone squelch of 103.5, which means side number 13. So we would have a 19 for the big number on the cheap walkie talkies and a 13 for the little number. And that's really all you're doing. You're going in and programming all of these to have the tone squelch set up the way you want it. Mm -hmm. See, all of these guys have the same tone squelch. So we can select them all by clicking the first one and then hold shift and click the last one. We have all the 67s. We're going to hit properties and you see, even though they're grayed out, tone squelch is selected, 67 is selected on both. Cross mode is tone tone and you don't mess with anything else except for power. I put on high because again, you can go up to 50 watts on GMRS channels 15 through 22. And these Baofengs are only putting out about eight watts max. Uh, I think a guy tested them and even on eight watts, they were only getting like 4.7 transmit. So it, it's a lot of commercial advertising, but this is how you do it. You select the channel you wanna change, right click it, properties, change the tone mode to TSQL, that's tone squelch mode. And then you set your tone and tone squelch to match whatever number over here you want. So 21-19, you'd set this to 127.3 right here for tone and tone squelch, right there. And that's it. Once you have everything set the way you want it, you go up to radio and you upload to radio. If you've already selected it to download from it, obviously it's gonna just pick it right back up. If you're having trouble downloading from radio, make sure that you have the correct model selected and that you've selected the USB, not Bluetooth. A lot of times it defaults to Bluetooth. You have to have it plugged in, turned on, volume all the way up, and then you'll see it under USB serial here, all right? Good luck. If you have any questions, comment below. Like if you like, subscribe to the video. And as always, keep on modding. Gross, dude. Ugh. What the? What is it? What is that? Huh?